Now we're going to try a more difficult scrolling window capture. Let's initiate the capture and we're going to try to grab an Internet Explorer web page which can be difficult for a whole host of reasons and in fact normally I would recommend that you use a browser add-on to capture large web pages rather than doing a scrolling window capture using a screenshot tool. But let's give it a try and maybe we'll see some of the difficulties that can occur. So you can see I've got a page with horizontal and vertical content. Um, now one of the things that can be tricky about capturing from a web browser is it can get confused about sending the scrolling messages. But let's give it a try. And for Windows Explorer I'm going to initiate the capture using this menu here. So we can see a preview, that's fine. We're going to tell it to begin a scrolling capture. Now I'm going to try to have it test the window now, but this can fail for a number of reasons, but let's give it a try. So it's trying to scroll the window content, and uh, it looks like it's, uh, it's doing fine. Okay. Sometimes you'll see that it will report that it can't scroll the window contents or that the only thing that works is page down. In this case you can see it has successfully done vertical and horizontal scrolling. If you do get a message saying that only page down worked, it usually means that the browser is confused about where the Windows messages are going and it means you have to click somewhere on the background of the web page to start it. Well, let's see what it's reported. It's suggesting to capture by single rows. That means basically not simulating full uh, pages at a time but six rows at a time vertically and 36 rows or columns at a time horizontally. So let's give this a try. So now it's going to basically try to capture the entire uh, contents and you might see it scrolling horizontally a couple of times. It's trying to make sure it's gotten to the edge. and it should be done soon. Okay, so here we go. If you remember from the previous screencast, you won't be surprised at all this duplicative content. Um, if we go to 100%, you can see the scroll bars are there just as before. Now let's uh, ask it to find the margins. And you can see it's removed the scroll bars and window borders. And now let's guess overlaps given the margins. This looks pretty good. You can see it's filled out these values. It's got a horizontal overlap of zero. That's a bit suspicious. Let's go 100% and see what we see here. See if that actually looks right. Let's actually go to the top. And let's scroll across and make sure it actually looks right. Actually, it does look right. Um, so it looks like it's actually done a perfect job. Oh, uh, no, that looks a, that looks a bit wrong, doesn't it? Let's see if we can. You see, by adjusting the vertical overlaps, we can tweak it. And it was guessing. Let's see, it was guessing 92. Actual value best looks like 91. Um, So there you have it. It's actually done a good job guessing the values and capturing this Internet Explorer page. We're going to see in a subsequent screencast a case where the automatic settings do not guess correctly. Well, let's just save this. There's our page, and we're all done with this test.